the law commission recommended against tinkering with the age of consent currently 18 years under the protection of children from sexual offences poxo act output at the eight core infrastructure sectors rose by a combined 12.1% in august the fastest pace in 14 months with five reporting double digit growth spurring hopes of a healthy uptick in industrial production last month Inflation in the eurozone fell to its lowest level in two years in September, suggesting the European Central Bank's steady diet of rate hikes was succeeding in curbing runaway prices albeit at a growing cost for economic growth. External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar affirmed that the India-Canada dispute was a topic of conversation during his meetings with U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABARD, announced the listing of its social bonds on the BSE. Arvind Kejriwal unveils 15-point plan to combat winter air pollution, calls for regional cooperation. The recently concluded G20 declaration reiterated the need to ensure a fully and well-functioning dispute settlement system accessible to all members by 2024. The Constitution, 128th Amendment, Bill, 2023, passed in India, aims to reserve one-third of seats in various legislative bodies, including the House of the People and State Legislative Assemblies, for women for a duration of 15 years. In the context of the police force, while many states have policies to fill vacant posts with women, the representation of women in state police forces remains low averaging around 11.7% of the total force.